this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you what to do if you have this much, like one ball of one color, one ball of another color, and then one ball, and then they're the same, same family, same weight, but they're, the, the colors are different. So what I did is I have been searching like crazy because <laughs> I dyed these yarn and I dyed two each and I did uh, did a tutorial and a uh, I did a crochet but the length was not too long so I thought to myself let me find a way to knit this up so it would be longer than uh, crocheting because uh, crocheting uses up more yarn and knitting doesn't it takes longer but um, it does not use up that much like yarn so this way I can knit longer a scarf I'm planning to make and uh, so I wanted to, I found this uh, lovely uh, stitch on uh, one of the Turkish blogs. Um, what I can do is, I can try to translate and put the pattern below. But uh, I will try to do the tutorial on how to uh, knit it up. Because it's written in Turkish. And then we'll go from there. So what I'm going to do is, I will start with green. And then I will go to beige and then light green. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so what you need is we need to cast on total of uh, 18 stitches. And then let me see if I if that's going to be wide enough and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've cast on total of 28 stitches. The main stitches are 18 and I'm going to do a edge. So five uh, on the front uh, beginning and five on the at the end. So those fives are going to be looking like a purl stitch okay so what we need to do is I'm just going to knit the first five stitches and I will put a marker just to uh, the showing that and the uh, I don't know what size these are but I think they're a uh, six six millimeter uh, knitting needles oh it's tight okay sorry I uh, made a knot at the end <laughs> and it became uh, very tight. Okay, so the first five stitches are going to be the border. Three. Uh, sorry about that. Uh. Four and five. Okay, so I'm going to put my marker just to know that these are the border. Okay, so on the first row we're going to do so we're going to uh, knit three stitches. And then we're going to purl two stitches. I did get a comment. What does uh, yarn on the front mean? It means purl. One, two. So we're going to continue. So we're going to continue knitting two knit, two purl, two knit, two purl. Two knit, two purl. Two knit, two, four, five. Two knit, two purl, two knit, two purl. Just double checking. Okay, this is uh, my first attempt knitting this with you guys, so please uh, um, don't judge me as I'm trying to figure out. So, okay, and the pattern says to uh, uh, purl at the end. So I'm assuming to purl just like this. Two, four, there's six left. So I knit the last one and just in case I put my uh, stitch marker. 
and then it says well these are the borders I'm making this up because <laughs> it's nice to have a border so this is wide enough for a scarf and it's Angora Rabbit these are my hand spun that I have spun and I dyed these yarn so um yeah okay so the uh, the wrong side so what we're going to do is we're going to so the f the first five is uh, knit stitch because I want that pearl look three four five so we're going to knit what we see so we I see a pearl I see a two knit stitch I see two pearl and I continue. Two knit, two purl. Knit, purl. When you're new, when you're spinning in your yarn, it, it, like as you can see, I did thin and thick, and uh, and I did lots and lots of spinning when I was new. I wanted to learn the better I become I stopped okay. so these are all pearl oh so the edges are knit stitch don't forget we want that uh, pearl look okay the more you knit, the stitch will become, and uh, it looks pretty good. It gives, it has that 3D effect, so that's the reason. So I am going to uh, knit the five, uh, five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the first it says, uh, um, um, the first stitch to purl wise okay and then it says uh, knit two and then purl two just like this knit two so this is row three Knit two, purl three, all the way to the end, and then the five stitches are knit stitch. Two, four, five. So I did my purl. Uh, and I do okay it doesn't tell you so at the beginning we did uh, pearl so I'm assuming what did we do so we did pearl so I'm gonna do pearl at the end yeah this pattern doesn't make sense but it looks fantastic so I said to myself I can figure this out but the instruction is not written right so I'm making this up as I'm going, changing the pattern. See, and this is, well, it's really hard to see at the first, but uh, okay. So we're on row four. So I'm going to uh, knit uh, those uh, five stitches again, knit wise. Yarn on the back is knit wise. Three, four, five. Okay, now it says uh, knit three stitch and then purl two stitch. So one, two, three. So I did it correct then. And then purl two. So I am going to knit what I see. So knit two, purl two. 
Make two. Pearl two. I still have those blueberries. I washed it a lot, but they were stuck <laughs> on, in the, on the yarn. Okay. <clears throat> Knit two, purl two. <laughs> Knit two, uh, two, four, five. So this should be, um, I guess this is the first stitch that we started. So I'm going to knit that, knit the remaining five. <clears throat> Okay, so we finished row four. Now we're going to start row five. And then I'm going to knit the first five stitches. One, two, three. Four, five. <clears throat> okay, and the first stitch is a pearl, st pearl stitch. And then we knit the two, pearl the two. It's actually very easy. It's, <clears throat> sorry, my throat. Uh, it's been uh, very dry. I'm, I'm drinking a lot of water, but uh, I don't know why. I had to go out and buy a chicken breast. I have a grocery store just behind my house, but uh, it was scary, right, to go out with this virus out. <clears throat> it is really scary, yeah, unfortunately. Knit two, pearl two. Okay, so two, four, five, two, four. and then I just uh, pearl this last one, and I knit the remaining five. Okay, so we are we finished row four, and row five is going to be the last row, to, and then we're going to change. I'm going to change my color. I know it's really hard to see, but. Uh, I guess when we change the color, you can the pattern's going to show itself. But uh, at this point, you can't see anything. <laughs> and I just want to use up these yarn, and then so I can use the container. Oh my goodness, most of my containers are full of yarn and projects that I am going to start working. Okay, so the four, uh, the five stitches are knit stitch, knit stitch yarn on the back. So two, three, four, five. Okay, and then uh, the f uh, two, four, five. Okay, uh, I was supposed to. So these are supposed to be a pearl stitch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to frog it because the first stitch is a, a pearl stitch. I guess I made a mistake. So what I'll do is I'll just show you a trick. So it happens, we're all human being, and I'm this is my first attempt working on this. Uh, so what you do is I'm just gonna knit this from the back. Let me see if I can write this pattern correctly because it's not written correctly. Okay, so the first stitch is a purl stitch. And then we continue knitting. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm just looking. So I knit what I see. Carl. Knit. Row two stitches, knit two stitches, purl two stitches, knit two stitches, so two, four, five. Okay, well, not knit, the last one is in it, I guess. I hope I'm doing this right. It's, uh, yeah, for some reason, well, let, let's figure it out. Okay, so I'm gonna knit the last five stitches. So I'm going to change my yarn. Okay, and then what we're going to do is, what color was I going to start with? Okay, so this six row is the main row that we do the trick. Okay, so I did knit the five stitches, and this is supposed to be a knit, and the end is supposed to be a knit stitch, I just figured. So I'm going to knit the stitch, and I changed my color of the yarn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip these two without knitting, so just like that. And I'm going to knit the two stitches, yarn on the back, and then I'm going to slip without knitting, just like this, all the way to the end. Slip. So what I do is I knit the purl stitches, yarn on the back, and slip without knitting. This is how it would look like. It's tricky, but it looks so nice. <laughs> Okay, and I knit, uh, and I knit the last stitch, and I will knit the five uh, stitches on the back. So we finish row six. Now we're going to knit row seven. Okay, so I'm going to knit. So I'm going to knit the five uh, stitches. Two. This is the wrong side of the work. Just point out so I'm going to knit and then I'm going to uh, knit uh, the purl stitches because those are the knits that we did and again I'm going to skip the ones that we didn't knit so I have the yarn on the front just like this I'm going to purl wise the yarn on the front Skip these two stitches without knitting so that's going to tighten it up a little bit and that's going to give us the nice look then skip without knitting okay so I will meet you at the end to start a new row okay so I started the next row and what I'm going to do is I'm just I did the five uh, knit stitch and I am going to just knit and try not to twist these uh, the ones that we haven't knit for two rows so we're I'm just knitting yarn on the back all the way to the end and I will come and show you row nine okay so I started the ninth rows I did my five knit stitch and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to purl the th first three stitches and then knit two stitches. Just wanted to double check. So two, four, five, I did the first three purl, two knit, two purl, two knit, two purl, my goodness this part is so thin, and I did two ply on these yarns, so two knit, two purl, Two knit, 
two, four, five. And then the last one is supposed to be a purl stitch. And I, so we're done. So it's nine repeat, nine row repeat. And then I'm going to continue starting from uh, what we I showed at the beginning. So I'm going to continue knitting what I see. I see knit stitch because we changed everything on row nine. And then I am going to knit a couple of rows like this, what I see. And I will come back to show you how to change the color. Okay, so I'm going to change my uh, yarn. This is how it looks like so far. And I'm going to repeat row six. Okay, I will try to write the pattern because it's not that hard. It's just, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to knit the five stitches and then I'm going to knit the next three stitches. And then I am going to skip the knit stitches just like this and then knit the two stitches skip and I will meet you at the end just like this knit wise yarn on the back and then skip the knit stitches so I'm on the wrong side of the work and now what I'm going to do is knit yarn on the front and then skip and then knit this two stitches so I'm just repeating row uh, six and seven, and I will uh, come back. Okay, okay. The right side of the work is just going to be knit stitch yarn on the back. That's all to it all the way, and I will meet you at the end. So we're going to change uh, uh, the stitches around. Okay, this is the row that we changed, so I just did my regular knit. I'm going to purl the first stitch, just like this. This is the back of the work, so I'm going to knit the next two. What I see is I'm going to do, and then purl. So knit two, knit, purl. basically I am knitting on the st two stitches that we did not uh, knit and I'm doing purl the ones that we have uh, been knitting so I'll meet you at the end and uh, well after this I will uh, crochet knit a couple of rows just to show you how it looks like because it's still hard to see this gorgeous stitch and I will come back to show you when I change a couple of uh, more colors Okay, so I have continued crocheted a couple of more rows and I changed colors and this is how it looks like. I hope you like this uh, tutorial. I just had to share it with you and I will try to write the pattern. I will try to fix, but it's really done actually in a couple of rows and you keep on changing the color. You can make anything with this, baby blankets, cardigans, anything you want. So I hope you like this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, push that notification button so you will be noticed. Happy crocheting!